Check out jbjrtoys.com for their latest exclusive figures. Help the Golden Age campaign. Action Toy Art. This is the Action Toy Art Show. All right, here today we have Indie Spotlight's Dick Tracy figure from JBJR Toys. Link underneath in the description to find out how to get your very own. This is a pretty awesome figure right here. It's the back of the card. I'll let you read the bio. Pause now. But make sure you pay attention to the fact that the Golden Age comic book heroes are coming soon. But we need your help from the campaign from the link down below to help these awesome figures see the light of day. Very cool uh, blister style pack. There's two pieces of tape right here, but if you take the two pieces of tape off, all you have is a lip here and a lip here, so you can actually slide this right down on out, flip the figure out, and then if you want to, put them right back in the clamshell. All right, let's crack this guy open and check him out. GBJR has really just knocked this figure out of the park. I am just so excited for this figure. This is such an awesome opportunity, in my opinion, to get a very awesome figure, a very exclusive character that, you know, has kind of, you know, since the 90s movies, kind of been left behind. So we'll go ahead and go through the accessories, and then we'll explore all the articulation in the figure. He comes with his signature yellow hat, which fits very nicely on top of him in any sort of position. Um, it doesn't really like snap on too well so if you maybe got a piece of putty or wax and you really want it to stay on there it should be just fine but normally it is it'll stay just fine. It comes with this super sweet awesome Tommy gun which fits in his hands perfectly. Let's put that part in first and then we will bring it over here like that and he's rocking the Tommy gun. Also comes out with a switch out left hand, which is just easily popped off and placed in the new one and got all the range of motion. These being figures not produced by Mattel, not produced by Hasbro, they are a little bit different than you would expect from any of those lines. As we know, DC does a lot of suited figures that don't have a lot of articulation to them, and you really can't do a lot with, like, such as uh, the Question, uh, Sandman, and, and Ra's al Ghul. You know, nothing of the sort like that. So we'll go over his articulation. He's got really no head up too much, but he looks down very good. So you got that and that. He's awesome range of motion when it comes to side-by-side -side expressions, and obviously he will do a complete 360. Arms go all the way up. Double-jointed hands, I believe. Yep, he can touch his face. You can put a cigarette in there or something. So you get that. He also has a complete 360 twist at the shoulder. Same thing on the other side. He does have an ab crunch, and I want to stress to you how very soft this material is. If you're used to, like I said, such a figure as the Question or the Trench Coat Joker, which is the same figure, um, it's kind of hard to move this, but this is very nice, very thin, very easily pliable. Same thing with this, very rubbery. But underneath, like I said, he does have an ab crunch. So, just crunch him up a little bit. Works really nice. Also, he has got double jointed knees. It'll bend in that much. He also has toe, doesn't go forward very much, back a little bit, so you get that range. But he's got a really nice ankle rocker. Also, has the same cut at the thigh and the feet will move completely around. So if you wanted to get him in that pose, no problem. No problem whatsoever. That pose, if you want to get crazy with it, no problem. Here's the size comparison with the original Playmates Dick Tracy figure, and oh my god, the size of that head. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a Goomba party. And here's the size comparison with the DC Universe Classics question figure. And here's a size comparison with the Infinite Series Spider-Man. 
So I just can't say enough good things about this figure. Um, for me, the paint applications were there, the articulation is there, accessories are awesome. Um, it's just a really good figure. A uh, really good price in my opinion too. Um, can't say enough good things. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what this accessory is, if anybody can help me out. Um, I'll also do a uh, review for the blank figure, which is one of his nemesis's. So, definitely check that out and uh, link below to JBJR Toys, who now has these indie figures for a limited time until they come up with the uh, new run of their brand new Golden Age figures. So, definitely check that out and uh, thanks for watching. Spider Man from the Wave. And here's the infinite. I, here's the size comparisons with. The, Here's the side-by-side -side comparison with the DCUC Classic. I'm most, 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 most.